Um, All right. Good morning, everyone from North Carolina. Good morning. Good morning. You're watching the Tim's Thing, <laughs> the Crate Cup Invitational Top 50 Extravaganza. This is everyone's favorite uh, crates. We have Nami here. Hello, Jeremy. And I'm Jeremy. The great Chumbalaya. As you will. And the players who we have here are Josh Snyder, representing Chris Allen. And Travis Johnson it's representing, representing D of House Yoon, by the way. D of House Yoon. D Own is playing today, so we are, uh, you know, filling in while he does some awesome stuff. Hopefully, wins some games. We'll see how it goes. We just got started. Everyone setting up. And uh, I guess we're going to get rolling. So let's see what we got. So on the left-hand side, we've got the Resistance. We've got Poe, Heroic, R4 Astromech, the S-Foils, Tidal, Heavy Laser. Uh, you can all read, so I'm going to stop this now. But you've got this four-ship Resistance with a pretty deep bid. So basically a bunch of dodgy, nimble aces with this I-1 blocker to kind of get in the way. Uh, so this list tends to play pretty cagey. Pretty um, basically like three having three Sinterfells and a blocker. You run around behind rocks, you trick shot, you dodge, you use that heavy deep bid to avoid on confrontation until you know you can win. Uh, next to it, we have this Imperial list, which does basically the exact opposite. You've got this 200 point full points. Who cares about bids? Don't want it. Don't need it. I'm gonna run in here with <laughs> Vader and Countdown, all these three attack dice ships, and just blow things off the table as quickly as possible. So this is actually should be a pretty good match. Uh, it's going to come down to pretty much the approach. If uh, Travis D can get the engage he wants and just dump truck, shovel things off the table. Or if Josh Chris can go late and hold off as long as he can and plink damage away until there's enough arcs to dodge. But this is, uh, this is of all the matches we have going on right now, this is probably the one I want to see the most, so I'm pretty happy that we uh, bullied them into being on stream today. Agreed. And the list, the resistance list here is what I would kind of expect if I were going to a tournament. Just to see across the table, some combination of A-wings, probably Poe as well. Yep. I hear moving last is very good, Jeremy. Uh, you know, I'd pay 10 points to move last, apparently. <laughs> and the right here, it's, it's you kind of have polar opposites, right? On the left, yep. we have a lot of upgrades. We kind of have a lot of stacking, lots of heroics, as we would expect. On the you right, it's just chassis. You right? could almost say it's a 1.0 it's a 1.0 list in spirit versus a 2.0 list in spirit. Agreed. And when we say that what we mean is in 1.0 we're used to stacking these upgrades together, right? Very often. Yep. And you know, Travis's list here is the exact opposite of that, which I think embodies 2.0 a little bit more, right? Yeah. So all of these ships, they don't look like they have upgrades on them, but what they do is they still have ship abilities, right? So yep. Vader can still push, essentially. Like, so like, by comparison, you know, if this was a 1.0 list, Vader would have like three upgrades, one for his force charges, one for his uh, app, advanced targeting computer, stuff like that. And all these ships have their own unique abilities, exactly. whereas Josh's are loaded with a bunch of crazy upgrades. And, uh, you know, we're going to see how this goes. Josh, uh, luckily, we get to see Josh all the time. It's one of our locals. Yep. So this is kind of a... And a member of Team Texas at that. A member of Team Texas that is on top up until the games start tomorrow. So as we can see, so Josh has these guys all started here, but he begins... Oh, I can do this. Sweet. Going around like this, heading out. So what Josh wants to do is he wants to draw these ships in here, have them come in through the rocks, and he can use his trick shots, use his arcs pointed back to kind of... Uh, bait and make these kill zones here here and here so when those travis's ships are in there he can get shots with trick shots and extra modifiers while uh, travis is losing the main appeal of his list which is just heavy damage out front right so josh wants to stall this as long as he possibly can yeah and normally when we see po 3a like this it's okay with jousting right mm -hmm. now when we look at these three a wings the reason we think they're so strong is because they can essentially point slocker, right? Yeah. We look back to kind of like a 3BQD type of list in 1.0. It just, it's hard to kill. And they do a lot of damage as well. And so they, but against this list, you really don't want to joust, especially with four effectively three dice attacks coming at you. Yeah. You know, you're probably going to get something PS killed. And they start at all I4 I mean, and, and up. Yeah, they're all I4, so the like, possibility of PS kill on this I1 is very possible. Uh, the main appeal of what makes Travis's list so dangerous is that they're all effectively three dice ships. I say effectively just because Gideon can shoot last because they're all I4s. And if a damage card's out, he's three dice. But Vader and Vermile both get 
effective double mods on their attacks makes right. them very, very reliable. And you can see here, Travis is turning in. He wants to engage. He wants he, to fight. He, he's ready to fight. His list has the advantage in the fight. Yeah. As Jeremy talked about before, these A-wings, they don't have to at this point, right? Mm -hmm. They can kind of come around. They can. They have backwards arcs, which is probably the coolest change to the A-wing. Right? Yeah, they, uh, that's what makes... I mean, there's a reason, like even ignoring the hyperspace and not hyperspace, there's a reason people want to play resistance A-wings so much is because they have that rear arc to play off of. Yeah. And a reminder, this is a hyperspace tournament. This is hyperspace. And the Upsilon changes are in effect. Yes, they are in effect, effective immediately. <laughs> yes. And that means Dormance is now 70 points. And hyperspace tracking is 10. 10 points, so effectively unplayable, right? Yep. Starving Buzzard, if you Starving will. Starving Buzzard, if you will. <laughs> it's a nice, sick Hearthstone reference. Yeah. Was that a five straight there by Josh? I boosting? believe so, yeah, yeah. Five straight boost. Josh, yeah, he, I mean, Josh wants to come around. So Josh, so what... That's the thing. Travis wants Travis wants this fight. He wants this engaged. Josh wants to prolong it as long as possible, and he wants to take those pot shots with the turrets pointed backwards. What he really, really wants is he wants Travis to commit really hard to something that he can't easily recover from. Like this Reaper here, um, it moves very fast in like a straight line in these banking directions, but it has a really hard time with tight turns. So what Josh really wants that Reaper to do is to get to a t place where it has to commit to a tight turn and lose its mods. But Travis has the speed to hopefully catch him. And the reason Travis is turning in is because he doesn't want to give Josh this entire free reign of the board. Even though we say flying into rocks is usually a bad idea, it typically is. But in this case, if Travis had come around the long way, this gives all these resistance, come around the long way like so, this gives all these resistance ships so many lanes to come through and come after and surround and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. So Travis is effectively, he's cutting off this half of the board for Josh to play in. And now Josh has only a few places to go. And if anyone actually ends stays here, they're going to get pounced on. So that's what you do with these dodgy aces, these fast, nimble ships. It's the same with Dash, same with everybody else. You have to cut off avenues and lanes of the board. But what makes the Resistance A-Wing so scary is that even though you can cut them off, because they have their rear arc, they can just go five forward, boost, point back, and all of a sudden they're behind you. And even if they don't do any damage on that turn, the fact that they've broken the net is what makes them so scary. Right. And as a reminder, this event is sponsored by Curled Paw Creatives. You can get 15% off your order by using the code CRATECUP19. Now, a few folks in the chat, um, if you've probably ordered something a day or two before, you could probably contact the store and see if they'll honor the Crate Cup coupon. Um, they are using beautiful large tokens made yes, by Crate Cup. <sighs> but sorry, sponsored by our um, Carl Paul Creatives team yep. here. And so all the tokens you'll see on stream were created by them. So if you like what you see, go ahead and check out their Etsy store mm -hmm. and use our co coupon code. Oh, it looks like we've got a shot here. We've got some fights on. coming. Is that Abing's arc pointed backwards? It is. Oh, boy. I mean, it's trick shots active. Yep. So we're doing range three obstructed. Range from, three obstructed from countdown, it yep. looks like. So let's see what we got. I don't know. I didn't see if Vermile was in range. It looks pretty close. Yeah. Three against five, is that right? Three against five, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Travis rolls, so he has no mods. Turns out your dice are bad, but you don't have mods. Josh is rolling his dice as a courtesy. Neat. I guess it oh, worked. There we go. Yeah. The system works. And now we're going to have uh, the A-Wing come back with three dice. And then Vermile appears to be out. Okay, yeah, yep. so the A-Wing gets a shot back, and it's a trick shot, so it's three dice all of a sudden. Yeah. Three against four. Yeah. Hmm. Or, you know, whatever. Let's see. Is that the blue squad? No, yeah, that's blue squad, I the guess. Blue, he, yeah. yeah. Either they measured it, it wasn't an arc, or it, he forgot. Yeah. He should probably try being better. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> and the blank out by Travis. Well, he has to use that early and take a face down damage. So the card. good news here is that it's countdown. If it was any other, this is why countdown's in the list, by the way. Yeah. If it was any other striker, they're very susceptible to just blanking out on greens and getting trucked. But countdown says, "No, nah, I'm good." Yeah. And then see, uh, and Josh is mocking Travis, calling him, "We wish he had heroic yeah. right now." <laughs> now, Josh, to let everyone know, is an ardent abuser of heroic no man has used heroic more oh my than God. he has especially at our local game store look i know the math i've done the math on heroic thank you andrew but if i've ever seen a person who does more double blank outs into double evades it's it's josh it is it is it is awful just just the worst but with countdown only taking one this isn't so bad but this is kind of what game plan josh wants oh yeah oh yeah so um I believe that Travis's chips were painted by Matt. I will go double check that. Pretty sure. But that's our boy. 
And then this crate cup mat is just a thing of beauty. The uh, stream doesn't quite do it justice. It is beautiful in person. Okay, yeah, Herb. Herb painted that Reaper, it's gorgeous. It's maybe hard to tell on the stream, but it's got a, a little crate skull on the cockpit, as does the striker on its wings. So we got dial set, getting through here. Um, this doesn't look terrible for Travis. He's got the A-wings kind of corralled. The key, what's, what's going to have, what's going to have to be the big deal here, is that this guy's going to do probably like turn right and try and leave because that's what they like to do is just open up lots of space. And it's going to be pretty much a question of whether Tra Travis tries to pounce on Poe or these A-wings here. Because I think once these A-wings can like pass this point of no return here and Travis is already committed like around here, then they're going to get behind, cause some problems. He's going to have a hard time catching up. So Travis wants to catch him napping here, here, or if he really wants to, he can try and collapse on this A-wing here. But it's going to be tricky, hard, pretty hard with the uh, countdown slowed down and then the Reaper kind of at an odd angle to go through that debris. I think the key here is also that that A-wing is stressed as one, the PS-1. Yeah. So as long as that PS-1 can keep stringing people along, I think if, as long as Poe and the two other A-wings yep. can take advantage of that fact, mm -hmm. if Travis chooses to pursue that, if they can take advantage on the other end of the board, I think it's okay for him. Yep. Otherwise, he, Vader's positioning makes this very interesting, right? Because like, Vader has afterburners. Exactly. Yeah. So Vader can very easily go like five forward boost and just be in someone's face yes. very, very quickly. Yeah. And even if it's just one shot, Vader with focus lock is terrifying. Can we steal a map for you <laughs> paid top dollar for it? Top dollar. Let's Tec name your price, Imagineering Man. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Just text gunboat. You'll get a map. <laughs> Let's see here. Hi, Chris. Our, our timer has 63 minutes. Yep. So you're five minutes below behind everybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, they had time setting up. Yeah. 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 They'll play faster, I hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I believe it. I don't know if they could hear that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this approach. Yeah. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> and so we're speaking to Chris Allen as he's playing the game as Josh Snyder. It's an impressive <laughs> talent. Yeah. Not many can do what he's So done. it looks like Travis is... Uh, what's he doing? Is that a three... Straight? Three straight. So is that... Was that that's, a, that's, a, that's a one forward aileron plus a one forward? No? Did he bump his ailerons? I think, maybe, I think he bumped. Yeah. That's probably what it was. He bumped his ailerons. There yeah. we go. We solved it. Yeah. And then Countdown's going to hang out doing Countdown stuff. Whoops. Yeah. So the good news here is that Travis is still slow rolling, so he doesn't have to commit to a direction just yet. So that kind of puts the onus on Josh to commit to a lane because what he wants to do is he wants to corral him. Yeah. Get him in a spot. Something we might have missed here is that PS1 A-Wing turning back around. Yeah. Again, just trying to chase, basically. I think Josh yeah, like, is okay with losing so that PS1. Josh is super in on that a, on that little A-wing getting bullied and dying if it gives everybody else positioning. And like what, what I've found, the key to this game is usually this list is not going to get tabled or wiped out unless things go horribly, horribly wrong. What it does is it chips away and it wins on points and time. Comes across with a three bank. And boost. boost around. Okay, so he wants he wants the escape. Yeah. But he's still open coming in on his right side or just going forward. Uh, depending on where Vader goes, this could get punished pretty hard, though. Yep. <laughs> he's not even focused. Oh, God, this could yeah. be really painful. And he's going with the one hard. Yeah, so he's splitting the board as well. He's opting yeah. in. He's opting okay. in, which might be risky. Yeah. Um, I don't know which of those A-wings is which, though. Yeah. And for those uh, in the chat, yes, we are waiting for a wired connection. Um, we are on the public Wi-Fi right now, so yes. it might be a little bit spot. Little... We apologize for that, uh, but it's coming as fast as it can. <laughs> Man, Josh is super in on this. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that I... It looks like I... from the table audio, he did not have, mean to have that arc rotated backwards. Yeah. Front, so... Oh, Travis yeah. slow rolling with Vader. Okay. It seems... It's a safe move. Safe. It's Very a safe, safe move. But it means he, there won't be any punishment today. Well, no, I think he's, I think he's actually in range. He, is he? Oh, oh, he oh, is. Oh, oh. <laughs> here and then Vermiles right there. And uh, Vermiles here. Yep. Countdown's here. Gideon's out of range. But this could be a really bad, bad time for that A-wing. As we all know, three, four unmodded greens are not maybe not so reliable. But you know, he does have heroic. He does have heroic. So he's in. Yes, we'll find out. God, this thing's going to get dumpstered. I'm so in. Yeah. 
Like the only bad shot Travis has is countdown. All oh, Vermiles got the guidance chips. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Gunboat. Yes, it's all hyperspace. Yes. The Tim's thing is all hyperspace all the time. Yep. Now, what's interesting here is that Josh has kind of opted into being here, here, and here at the same time, and Poe being out of range. And so this is going to be a little bit of a tough look, especially if he loses an A-Wing early. Yep. So, the, so depending on how this goes, this A-Wing – oh, do we have the, uh, the dice calc up? The dice calc up? Oh, yeah. the dice calculator. <laughs> yeah. Gate we'll of Storms. Ready. Gate of Storms. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. But, yeah, Josh has this kind of three-pronged approach. He's kind of hoping that uh, Travis commits a bit to do something. Um, he boosts Poe because Poe doesn't want to be facing that way, which seems super reasonable because Poe's only out if he's pointing that way is to do like a three bank, three bank, like black one super slam type thing. This gives Poe at least a few more options. Like Poe is opting out as well. The he problem is, is that that debris might be too close for Poe to opt back in. Right. So we'll see how it goes. And Poe stressing himself for no reason. Sounds good. Would recommend. Yes, Crate Cup is all hyperspace all the time. Oh, here comes Travis, the strong hit hit crit. Yep. That A Wing does have a focus token because we weren't paying it because I don't know. I guess they must have forgotten. Yep. Neat. You probably expect maybe one damage here, but the focus token makes it a little uh, bit hard. I mean, what what he wants is he wants the token gone. Yeah. So then Verma can get a fully modded shot. Agreed, and he will have the token gone. There it here. is. So no so. damage off this, but Verma will have the yep. shot. Yeah. Yep. So then, and then Captain gets a shot for free. Why not? And then Vermal gets a double modded shot with his ability. Right. Would you like so, to remind the chat what his ability is? Uh, when you shoot a ship that doesn't have a green token, you turn a, a result to a hit. That seems pretty good. If you ask me. Oh, yeah, guidance ships is a pretty good yeah. ability. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Turns out it's pretty good. So Josh is taking that shot into his so. All right. Well, look. Guess I'll just roll natties. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is the tally. This is a. Oh, it's Lulo. It's okay. Lulo. Yeah. Oh God, it's Lulo. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh my. Oh, we have damage. Yes. yes. We're not used to being on a high-budget stream. This is our first time at a professional high-budget stream, so we're uh, we're just looking at all these nice new toys. So Countdown's down one. Yep. And then uh, how many did it take on Vermile? Uh, Vermile... Took three, it looks like, right? Yes, because there's two shields and a damage. There we go. Yeah, Vermile took all of it. There's one from Countdown, from Downtown Countdown. Uh, Lulo's good. Yep. And here comes Vermont with the punish, hopefully. And remember, Lulo's rolling the one additional an on attack and one and less, one on, less defense, on defense. Yep. Right. Oh, here, so here's the dream. Here's Vermont. Here's focus. Yes, exactly. Yep. Hit, hit, crit. Guidance chips, focus, and crit. All right. So, like, the dream here is like losing the shields. Like, the dream is actually just the no shields direct hit blank out, but. Oh. Whoa, oh, no heroic okay, there, there boy. Go. All right. So, it's going to depend on the crit here. Show me the card. Show me the card. It's not a direct and hit. It looks like a panic. We'll go confirm that really quick on stream. Uh, wounded, wounded pilot. pilot. Wounded All right. Pilot. Okay. More stress. Yep. All right. So there we go. And then we got half points. Yep. Um, where's our points counter? Do we have one? There it is. Oh, God. How do I count points? Uh, you do it. Dion, save me. I need an adult. I need an adult. Lulo is wounded pilot, yes. So oh, here we go. Uh, yep, and then wounded pilot, minus one hull, minus two, minus two shields. All right, and that's half points on Lulo. Lulo's 41, so that's 21 points. Yep. Where do I put in the points total? Here? Not sure. We I'm, will figure that we out. We will figure that one out. Yeah. I'm sure somebody knows. And it certainly isn't us. All right, so Lulo, yes, Lulo opted in. Lulo got punished super, super hard. This is so. This is what makes that this Empire list so powerful. Is that it's got all these uh, extra modifiers and attack, lots of attack, lots of dice to throw, and if they can collapse on one thing, then they can cause some serious damage. Um, oh, we did it. Yeah. So oh, just do it automatically. Points for Travis. Oh. Uh, the stream did not update, but we will keep you updated. So 21 points for Travis and zero for Josh. Yeah. One of the things we've noticed in our practice games, especially for 2.0, is that these really matter, especially with four and five ship lists. Yeah. Half points absolutely matter. It's one of the biggest rule changes from 1.0 to yep. 2.0. And it's definitely big on lists like uh, like Josh's that has all these like dodgy, nimble aces that are good yeah. at running away and avoiding points and avoiding giving up points. Yeah. They do points locker really well. Yeah. Um, but what tends to be the key against this list is 
going to be yeah, getting those half points, racking up what you can. You probably won't table unless like a massive outplay happens. So let's see. We got dial setting. So yeah, we're working on getting a wired connection. We're on Wi-Fi right now. So uh, we'll try and get that uh, fixed up soon. But for now, we're rolling on Wi-Fi. So please bear with us. So we got dial set. So likely, so Lulo is moving last. So the actual, the block is super dangerous for him. Because now Gideon's being hung back. So Gideon, and Gideon is now online against Lulo. Right. Because Lulo has a damage card. So Gideon's going to roll additional die against him. What's going on? Yeah, I don't it looks know. Looks like it's not updating on the stream. The uh, that's weird. The damage. Okay. Yep. But yeah, so Lulo is hurt. Here, I'll just no shields. <laughs> <laughs> Put a one on the <laughs> one. No, <laughs> not twelve. One. Done. Yeah. Got him. Easy. Yeah, guys. It is. It's on. It's on our end. Yeah, we we're on. We're yeah. on Wi-Fi. All right, so Lulo is like, whew, Lulo does not like where he is right now. He is hating life. Even the Twitch ads are buffering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that might be on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Would be nice if I could hear a full sentence from Jeremy. That's what we say on the podcast every single week. I know, it's the best. <laughs> it's good to know I have fan out there. <laughs> Let's see. I really like Vader's positioning here. Ah, Vader is, yeah. whew, Vader's loving life. He's ready life. to pounce. Like, I think the, the, the like, it's, it might be a case if it works so it's right, but Gideon being right there is actually pretty dangerous. Yeah. And that now that I won, since he chose not to hard engage it, yeah. that I won is far out of position. And also, yeah, since yeah. Travis, so it, since since he chose not to engage, since he tried to bait and then Travis did not go for the bait, right. that A-Wings is out of position for a little bit. Now, I mean, he's out of position, but he can also just boost and link his arc forward and sure. come back. But he's got to take some time. It's going to take be some time. Turn. It'll be unmodded besides yeah. heroic. If we knew, if they lose Lulo here, yeah. you know, then... The good news here is it kind of threatens uh, Gideon if he turns left. Yeah, it'll be a it'll be a possible trick shot too. Hey, we did it! The Wi-Fi gods have blessed us this day, or the hardline gods have best blessed us this day. Where is that port? Right here. The ladders. <laughs> the ladder has blessed us. The ladder bless us. Thank bless you, you so ladder. Much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go. Oh, I think we're good yeah. now. Now we should have. All right, so we've got some Vermile action coming here. Oh, Vermile, swiggy swooty, he is coming. Um, we're good. All right, so Vermile's so, bumping. So he ailerons one to the right. Yep. I think he went one straight. I bump. believe yep. so. Then he bumped. Yep. <laughs> and then countdown. And then remember, wounded pilot is online for Lulo. Yes. So the bump is in play here. So that yeah, once he so since those A wings left, so he could probably do a one hard here. There we go. Uh, one yeah, bank. One okay. Bank, yeah. There we go. Doesn't want to turn too tight. Wants to keep his arc wide. Makes sense. His safe. I mean, his sa the safest move here would have been two left turn for the A wings. Like the but worst. Then he's going to collapse on by Gideon Vader. It's a lose right. lose situation. Yeah. But you want to at least make them absorb the shot, right? So what's yeah? So what's happening here is that Lulo. If Lulo goes slow to the right, he gets bumped and he's going to get destroyed. If he goes too far, if he tries to like get out of it, Gideon's right there. Worst case, Vader's there. I think Lulo's safe. His only safe way out is like a five forward boost, but that puts him effectively out of the fight. Oh no, Josh is already panicking, giving up, giving yeah. excuses. <laughs> Don't do it, Josh. You have so much to live for. The sandbagging. Now, now or the, here's, here's the key is that you're going to lose Lulo, right? Yeah. It's going to happen. But Poe is not in any sort of position to capitalize. Oh on God! That. Remember when we talked about earlier? If that that I one can be in, you know out of position, yep. But they have to be able to take advantage on the other mm -hmm. side, right? Yep. So the risk of doing this gambit with uh, baiting your ships out is they don't go for the bait, then your ships are going to be out of the fight for a couple turns. Right. And it doesn't look like Tally's in a prime position. Tally right is here. probably not going to jump in because her is her arc, is her arc forward too. Her arc is forward, yeah. so she can't get in. Because you can, you'll feel better about this yeah. if you can trade something like a countdown, right? Just trading yeah. one for one, just being able to get another gun off the board.
Yeah, so he does the two hard left. Yeah, does the two hard, yeah. and then if he does any action, he could stress himself, so he could lose his ability to link. Yeah. So he should focus, just to be safe, but then he'll be pointed forward, and then Gideon is right there. Yeah. Almost feels like you have to boost and for the stress. Like, right? you want to boost almost just to threat, just to maybe block Vader if he goes too now, fast. I didn't remove the stress token. I think he might have tried, and he might have done an action and rolled for it. I don't yeah. know. I don't see a focus. Did he point his arc backwards? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah. Not sure what's happening over here. Yep. So that, that uh, sorry, Tally does clear the stress and two turns on yep. the right. Yeah, so Tally's yeah. in. She'll focus. She wants to fight. That seems fine. The boost seems kind of, okay, this might be potential like Vader punish. Yeah. So yeah, you can get something out of this. Like, you're going to lose Lulo here, most so likely. Vader can PS kill, right? Yeah, Vader can I kill, um, can PS kill Lulo, not to worry about it. Oh, Travis opts in super hard. Uh oh, here comes the punish. Oh, look at that! Now if he gets the bump and he gets out, yeah, of yeah, he arc, gets the yeah. bump and Lulo has arc. Ooh, that looks painful. Yeah, and that, we we are on wired connection, so it should be coming in fairly yeah. soon. Give wired internet. <laughs> we agree. We agree. We agree. Yeah, we just got it put together, so it should be a bit better. Yeah. We get back to that wired connection. Right. Now. The key is, it looks like so this Lulo looks, is out of Vader's arc as well. Yeah, Lulo's... The PS kill is out of commission, yeah. Right. Now, so Gideon's, Gideon has to Gideon's the still job. there. Right. Um, not sure why Lulo doesn't have any tokens and is still stressed, but whatever. Are we good on our connection yet? Connect? That's on the Wi-Fi, so we need... I mean, we're, we're here. We're already connected, way, yeah. yeah. We're already... Hi, Chris. We're yeah. If we get off that, yep. Yeah. Get Chris. <laughs> get Chris. <laughs> Chat says get Chris. Save me, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. Chris yeah. is on stream. He's playing yeah. right now. Right He's right there. Yeah. He's right there. Big brain blocking the five yeah. forward. So it looks like we've got a slam <laughs> here on Poe. Come try to come back around. Poe's out. What did Poe do? Two bank. Looks like it. But then he slammed as well. Why? Not sure. It seems <laughs> the key here is you want Poe to be facing this way, right? Right. So Vader, oh, well, he's here. Is he boosting? Yeah. No, he slammed then boosted. He slammed then boosted, yeah. God almighty. Yeah. See, if Poe gets this shot here and can punish the tokenless Vader, so you have one shot here and the other shot here, I think you're okay. I mean, you could trade half points on Vader, and that's quite it's, significant. It's it's tokenless with quotation marks. Yeah. He does have three fours. He does have three fours. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> tokenless. <laughs> So it's like Lulu is taking the shot range one into Vader. Roll the dice. I can't see him. Yep. Three. Cool. Okay. Okay. We'll take it. I guess Vader will too. Takes the one. Vader. One's not so bad. Yeah. We need a Gate of Storms plug in to goose yeah, stats on every oh. single roll. <laughs> There's. I'm going to guess my Patreon. Put it towards that. <laughs> All right, so Tally's going to shoot at Gideon, looks like. Hopefully to strip the token. That's what we're late. Oh, right? oh, I just realized. Yeah. Gideon's in Tally's bullseye, so Lulo gets to roll more dice on defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Josh remembers. If Josh remembers, right? <laughs> so no damage and no token strip, so the attack is live. All right, I can at least help with this part. We did it. Is it a range one? Oh, it is range one. That is four Not dice. Obstructed. Oh, there's, he got it. He did oh, it. Yes, so he remembered, yes. yes. <laughs> So it's just three. Oh, and the measure from Travis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's four dice against three. Oh. Okay. He needs two. Remember, he has heroic. Oh, and he doesn't Oh, get there it, it is. Yep. F. Press F to pay respects to Lulo. Yep. You can't pull him at the end of the... No, you can't pull the ship until the end of the initiative That's step. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pull it. The rules told me. Oh, here comes Vermile. Verma, and is that tokenless Poe I see over there? Uh, I think that's a, that might be a Press sad Poe from downtown. Respects. That's Absolutely. right. F. That is Poe without, oh, yeah, without, without tokens. Here comes tokens. the guidance chips. Boys, we're in. Yeah. Nope, guess I'm, it was right the po whole time. Takes one, yeah. Poe takes one. What do we know, right? What do we know? <laughs> so it's like Black One is out too. Black One's gone. Lulo's dead. Yeah, see, Josh respects the rules, Travis. You should too. <laughs> The initiative step wasn't over yet. Okay, so 
how this list yeah tends to work out the once the shifts start dropping then things get scary because you have less things to bait with what this um resistance list ex excels at is forcing players to make incorrect decisions or getting them to make hard decisions and then the fewer ships on the table the fewer decisions have to get made it gets a little bit easier and as long as travis has his critical mass of ships the dodgy ships can't dodge as effectively and we do apologize, Tabletop. Uh, the plugin is not responding. I think it's probably an user error, not not on them. Yeah, we're just morons. So we have they have lost Lulo. Travis has forty one points. Josh has zero. Yep. Uh, Vader did lose a shield. Vermile is down to five hull. Yes. So he took three damage, and Countdown is down to three hull. Yep. Because he took an early damage and engaged. Gideon is full. Gideon's full. Yes. Yep. The Wii hotspot is looking grim. I haven't played Wii Hotspot in a long it's time. It's Wi-Fi. Oh, oh, I can't read. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, we did get a wired connection. So we should be running purely on wired now. We should be okay. Yes. We solved it. We figured it out, boys. We did it. I'm just going to start pressing buttons to see what they do. Yeah. What's that? What does it do? What does that mean? I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Good for me now. Um, we're, we're glad you guys got the connection. Great. We did I, it. Just to give you some um, perspective, Shane, they ran the wire through the roof. Yeah. And so he was coming in and out with yes, a ladder. You probably heard him on the background. Yep. So he was carrying a huge ladder. Let's grab. Let's show. Well, let's, we, have, we have the face cam. We'll show the, we wi the, we'll show the wire in question. Yeah. Oh. Where's the camera? Okay. Hey, we did it. So if you can okay. look here on the top left of the screen, that's the wired right yeah. there. Yep. What is happening? Not really sure. I don't know. I like it, but okay. <laughs> Why oh, no, we broke it. Oh, no, we broke it. <laughs> gunboat! Tax gunboat! Tax gunboat. Okay. All right, we're back. We're back. Okay. This is Wait, panic again? <laughs> panic again! This is Gold Squadron. Gold Squadron crate takeover panic mode. Okay. Amateur hour. To be clear, this is all user error. This is entirely user error. <laughs> this is error. entirely... Everything that Dion has is wonderful working. and great. It's working we're, perfectly, like, but we don't know how to use it. We don't it. know what we're doing because we're morons. Yeah. If you guys need any update on the points or the board state or health, uh, since we seem to can't get the tabletop plugin, just yeah. put it in the chat and we'll, we'll read it out. We'll Happy to. Stop pushing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we have to keep pushing Damn buttons. Damn it, stop pushing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> but look, the buttons Can I get are some gunboats in the chat while we wait? Yeah, gunboats in the chat, please, <laughs> while they do dial set. Hello, Mr. Chris Allen. You guys haven't dropped any frames since switching over internet. We have not, yeah. So that's Just you. press all the so buttons. So things start breaking, that percent okay. is going to go up. Do you know why the tabletop plugin isn't updating? Uh, probably. Yeah. I assume it's just user error at this point. Yeah, Big yeah. Daddy Dion is the power behind the crate. You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> As yeah, use, the, use the trackpad like yeah. a peasant. Chris is going to fix us. Right. It's over here on the other mode. Chris, save me. So we just need to go to well, we are trained chimps, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully I, mean, I can actually watch. Hey, bun. Bun, bun, bun. <laughs> bun, bun, bun. Right Josh there. is here wearing your shirt. It's great. Yeah. Do you, can you refresh it on here? Yeah, but it should. Yeah, it's not refreshing. That's the is issue. Is that the correct URL? I don't think so. Here, look to the right. You want to refresh it? <laughs> Everyone just shouts bun. I'm in. Yeah. Text bun. There you go. Is that updated? So the i5 is taking this five straight as uh, we go. Yes. It is updated. We did it, guys. We did it, guys. We did it. There you go. All this right. is entirely down to us. Yeah. We accomplished all of this. We guys, stand amidst our achievement. Did you guys see my badge? What's your badge? Oh, yeah. Chris, we have the jump master here. He's the here. jump master. He yeah. is the jump master. So i5, five straight boost and probably focusing to try to take advantage of getting in here. If uh, he can get behind you. That's the I one, right? That's he just, the I one. Yeah. yeah, he rolled around. He came around. Yeah. He's he's back. So saving grace here, if he can trade, if he can trade for the Gideon, that that helps a little bit. Yeah. But Poe not being able to take a shot here and Vader being able to bounce is not not. Is Poe double stressed? No, he's stressed and he has his uh, X foils open. That's a oh, it's the S foil token. token. Okay, got it. Yeah. That's a wonderful token. Yep. It is a great shirt. Go D. Hi Ryan. Hey, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Why, aren't why you are here? you here? Why aren't you here? Can the chat please inquire as to why Ryan Farmer is not at Crate Cup? Text gunboat to Ryan Farmer. <laughs> we'll get you a pair of diamond cut jeans. So Gideon's rolling. That's a pretty good roll by Travis. Aileron's yeah. one bank to the right. And then he'll just yell over this debris. Who yeah, he cares? He over it. The prize here is Poe, right? Yeah. Yeah. That A Wing's going to bounce out of there. Does everyone in chat just at, at Rye Tackle? As many gunboats as you can. He was too sleepy. <laughs> too sleepy. He fell asleep. At Rye Tackle Gunboat. <laughs> there it is. Go ahead just, and tag Ryan. Just, just keep, spam the gunboats. Just tag Ryan. Yeah. Some gunboats for Ryan yep. Farmer. 
There's our there's our gold squadron giveaway. We yeah. give away gunboat emojis to uh, to Ryan Farmer. Oh no, the Reaper! Yeah. It looks like Travis was going for the block there, and then he ends up getting blocked. I think Travis just wants the position. He does, Agreed. and he doesn't want to do like a red over there. But I just wanted to set you up for an ironic. Ironic. <laughs> I just think Travis is, is a is a buffoon. That's oh, all. that's close. That was close, but not, <laughs> not enough. No cigar here. If only Waduku was here. <laughs> <laughs> I love the X-Wing community so much, Jeremy. Me too. I love, I love them. They're just wonderful. It's They're impossible our... to explain why I'm here to my colleagues and like my friends. I but really can't. I'm here anyway. By the way, it's a Friday morning. Everyone, people should be at work right now. Yeah. But no, we're texting gunboats at Ryan Farmer. Yeah. So it looks like Aileron one straight. Aileron one straight. Yeah. And then he'll just probably take the one, one hard. One hard. Yeah, get the positioning. The one hard Seems reasonable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Focus. We're good to Focus, go. Focus. Hang out. I'm just counting. Maybe get a range two shot at it. Don't mind thing. me. Something will be in his arc, yeah. hopefully. The key here is that Poe is really easy to kill. In yeah, like up yeah. in this list, Poe is by far like the easiest ship to corral and yeah. kill once Black One's gone. Right. He has that emergency like, oh crap button, he can leave. But after that's done, he's pretty predictable. Yeah. Fortunately, Ryan, we did enforce the rules and no one Well, we do out, enforce yes. the rules at Crate yeah. Cup. Um, so we do not allow people to use their range templates to go outside the deployment zone. Um, this is what happens that costs you a system open. <laughs> so it looks like we were right about tally. Oh, wait, do we have – is system open runner-up Phil Booth here? Uh, I I don't think he is. Okay, Jeremy. he should yeah. be here. Yeah. Farmer defeats Booth. Farmer defeats Booth. And just uh, – for those of you just joining us, make sure you uh, always at Rye Tackle with as many gunboats as possible. And if you're new to the stream as well, Curled Power Creatives is our sponsor this weekend. That's you can right. use Crate Cup 19 for – Whatever your needs are for your acrylic market. That's a very good conversational ad read. Absolutely. So Vader t opting in here. He's going to lock. Travis Doesn't is the seem like there are many consequences for Travis. Here. Travis is the first player because Josh took a, Josh didn't take a 10-point bid to move first. Correct. So he's going to lock here, probably decide on a second. Yep. Focus. I'll just focus, yeah. Like, Poe, don't be. Actually, he might want to roll up to him, though. I was considering a roll, but like too, a, I, don't think he, I, don't, I don't think it's a consequential decision. No, his arcs right? are so wide at this point. Either Poe has to dip or, like, it's super blown out. And so this is correct here for Josh as well. He's going three straight. He's going to clear the stress, and he's probably going <laughs> to boost, right? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't clear. I think, did he go for the four? Did we misjudge that? Looks like he didn't clear the stress. This is not good now. Wait, he's not... What What on earth is yeah. happening? So checking arc for Vader. It looks like he was going for the four and didn't quite get out. Yeah, that was really dumb. <laughs> we only say that because he's our local. <laughs> we also... Yes, Josh is our local and yeah. he's also Chris. Death Troop! Oh, oh Death oh, Troopers! The judge is coming. We did it! The judge is Death Troopers! Way. Oh, we all lost the prize. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah they have Death Troopers. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Oh, the Death Troopers. God. <laughs> the next level play. I, I, For flies. those that who are not well versed in Death Troopers, Jeremy, could you explain? Uh, ships at range one can't remove stress tokens. Oh, Get there it wrecked. is. <laughs> Absolutely. That's our fault, guys. Absolutely destroyed. So Travis is checking arc here. He might have range two. Look, I will oh, take... Chris is checking the arc for them, yeah. Look, I will never take an opportunity to not call Josh stupid. But <laughs> in this case, he is correct. He's the most veteran member of Team Texas. It's true. He's the only one to survive. Yeah. It looks like it's in arc from our perspective again, but we, we, can't, we don't have the best view in the house. It's true. But you guys certainly do. You don't want to hear them. It's all just nonsense. All men must serve. So it looks I like agree. we are in arc at range two. Oh, no, so, now it's a crit. Thanks, ATC. ATC. Good job. As Travis takes his time finding the eighth side. That's right. Slow play. So, <laughs> double crit. Double crit. Okay. Poe didn't take... Oh, here, comes, here comes the double blank. Here comes heroic double blank the heroic. And then I'll just tilt up the face of the earth. Oh, well, that's one. Okay. okay. That's fine. Seems reasonable. So take one off Poe there. One off Poe. Yep. So two more for half points. So Poe, again, no shot here. The five. Well, he does have the backwards arc. This is the saddest Poe. Yeah. Now, look. Yeah, it's a range two shot behind. So two to three. Focus to no, no mods on Gideon. And oh, he wants the heroic so bad. He wants it. No damage there. We go to I4 stage. Travis lights up as that Reaper takes the range one into Poe here. Oh, <laughs> here it comes, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no, the no. worst result. The worst possible result. So 
Three and a crit? So three and a crit. So shield down, two hull down, and a crit. Here comes the blinded pilot. Is it two hull? Yeah. Oh, and Josh is the concession here. The concession. So it's like Josh has conceded, um, and they're talking through it right now to yep. make sure. That's it. That's the that's concession. That's right. All right. So that's a, that's a straight 200 0 for Travis there. Clean. Yep. Hold on. Let's let's make sure we kill everybody on the stream so we are, we're clear. Kill every ship. Yep. Go down here. Yeah, like we, were talk like we said earlier, the key here is that if that I-1 is going to squirrel around there, he has to take yeah. advantage. So, and it looks like Poe didn't get, a, get to shoot the entire yeah. game. So it seems to me, so the, the um, heroic won't save you now. <laughs> The um, the play here, what makes this game so interesting to watch is because Josh wants to run away, get like instant shots, pick away at things, weaken his opponent, and then come in when it's time to like finish the job. And what makes Travis's list so dangerous is that Travis is able to jump in really quickly and get all this damage in up front and have all these dangerous firing arcs to point at. Right. It's very hard to hide from every single arc. And then it tends to kind of once you start losing ships and he's not losing ships, it can yeah. snowball. It wasn't uh, the worst engage by uh, Josh, but the fact that Travis yeah. took out Lulu really early. I think and then you can see in, in this final positioning here, all of his ships are kind of facing They're here, all forcing here, the say, yeah, this here, big wide arc. Here. So I He's think, ready to take advantage of that. So the thing here that I think was the big turning point, I didn't mind the A-Wing running off on its own. It can still like plink away and be annoying. Lulu going in was risky, but like not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. I think the thing that happened here is that Josh got off his game plan, right. and he turned into fight. Yeah. Well, and, and the key is Poe never took a shot. Right. right? So Poe never took a shot. And the thing is, Josh Josh went into fight, and he may not have been wrong to because he was down points, but he went off his game plan. Hi, Travis. Yeah. He went off his game plan, and I think with this list, if you're concerned about losing Poe, that can work to your detriment. Yeah. And so Poe, again, we talk about it's the easiest thing to kill in this list, mm -hmm. right? But the problem, you're, what you're looking for, against, especially against Travis's list, you got to trade. Yeah. Right? You have to, especially with early damage on the countdown, you right. have to trade damage. So the thing here. is, yeah, it's like you have to trade with them, and Travis's list is designed to trade up because yep. it does so much more like yeah. modified attacks, extra damage. Yeah. So Josh uh, lost his ship, probably got tilted, got off his game plan. Yeah. And then he got super punished for it. Well, and, and the key here is like when Poe is sitting here, and let me clear the screen here. Yep. When Poe is sitting here, instead of – you almost think you have to take it at this point because you're yeah. going to lose Poe. Like, the nice and thing then with when Poe po comes around here and just dies without taking a shot, right. that's the issue. Because if you yeah. can trade here and you – you know, Gideon's a TIE fighter, mm -hmm. right? You know, at the end of the day, it's only 30 points, but it's still points and it's taking a gun off the table. Yeah. So if Poe's in here, Poe is the HLC, Poe can punish something and hurt something. And then Tally can come in and go behind, and the A can come in and go behind. And you have this whole idea of encircling, and the A-Wings kind of have pseudo turrets. But the whole thing is, and I think, I think he blew the black one too, uh, too early. Yeah, He stressed himself unnecessarily with Death Troopers looking at him, and he blacked one to turn too early. Right. So if Poe wasn't stressed then, he could have four forward, black one, and be gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, you think about it, if he splits kind of the middle of the field here, yeah. if he turns in, he's probably not going to die, right? Mm -hmm. Especially with Vader bumping. Yeah. He can get some shots off, and then we can take yeah. the four, and like, then we can go the, the 4K right So if you, yeah, you want to yeah. go like pure like Monday morning quarterback type stuff, like the right. turn that Vader got blocked like that, if Poe had turned in... And he has the was, HLC Poe live was, on Poe it. Poe would yeah. have HLC live, focus lock, and Vader would get super, super punished. Yeah. It's such a departure from what we were watching in 1.0 at the end of it, mm -hmm. where you have four ships on the Hi, court Chris. like this. Hey, Chris. Yes, oh, D yeah. just tabled you. Have you tried being better? Oh, wait, wait. D tabled jo <laughs> D tabled Chris. <laughs> D tabled Chris Allen. Wait, someone post on the Minoc page, see if we can get templates for that. Yeah, we can get templates for that. <laughs> Chris is technically a podcaster. Chris is a great podcaster. Yes. Yep. yep. Again, if you're just joining the stream, we are sponsored by Curl Paul Creatives all weekend long. Use the code CRATECUP19 for 15% off your order. $15 minimum, which I did not read before. Because I yes. didn't get that far. Yes, I get read. that minimum. You have to get 15 minimum. Absolutely. I would recommend the giant tokens. All weekend, all the tokens here on stream are going to be from Curl Paw Creatives. Yep. Right. All of our large tokens. They're beautiful. They also make great templates. 2017, we did our entire league in Curl Paw templates. We did. And acrylics, and we love Andrew Knuckles. So. And they are among my favorite templates. Absolutely. So we'll take a moment here, and we're going to go check on all the other tables, mm -hmm. and we'll come back and get an update. Yep. 